if you want to just start by kind of explaining what this study was, what happened, you know, methods and, and why conduct a study like this. Sure. So at Nova Nordisk, we obviously have a history of, of insulin and insulin uh, innovation. So not a lot of companies are still going uh, in the insulin route, but this is our, our weekly um, basal insulin. So once a week injection of Icodec. And we had clearly from the earlier PKPD, which is the pharmacokinetic and dynamic studies, ha had shown that you can have a lasting effect well over a week. Um, but the questions of that are clearly, okay, will it work? Uh, similar to our current basal insulin, insulin options, will it lower the glucose uh, in, a nice, um, in a nice way for, for fasting control in between meals and overnight? And then also, probably more importantly in, in this phase two trial is, can you do that safely? And so if you have a, a very long-acting insulin, like a weekly insulin, you know, when you when you talk to those who are treating patients, the first question comes up as well, uh, is that dangerous? Because what happens if they have a low blood sugar? Does that mean it's gonna last for so long? And so that part of the phase two program, they're smaller trials. They don't quite go as long as the big phase three programs that you need for approval uh, with your you know, FDA and other agencies. But part of the, the, you know, the biggest, really the, it's basic, but the biggest um, goal is to show it's efficacious, but also examine the safety. So um, we compared it to Glargine in a 26 week trial, a uh, little 250 or more patients of so smaller numbers, you know, the phase three program, you're talking about thousands of patients uh, and they dosed it and they, they increased the dose or titrated the dose based on their glucose in the morning fasting when they got up prior to the prior to the dose so uh, they they only took once a week dosing and then glargine was was uh, once a day as per their label and it's actually um, it's concentrated so when they take their weekly injection on whichever day that is chosen it's not you know they don't have to take seven times the amount of, of volume of liquid of insulin uh, it's the same volume because it's concentrated so it's uh, it's um, they're able to take a similar um, dose, if you will, from a volume perspective. Uh, and so it simply is, you know, adding up instead of having seven days of dosing, you would add that up and essentially they're having that one dose in, in Icodec uh, per week. And we were very, um, very pleased to see that it actually lowered the A1C, the, you know, the average of their glucose control over a couple, couple months uh, was the same as Glargine. So, uh, and Glargine was chosen because that's, that's, you know, is clearly the the most used um, branded basal insulin out there in the world and, and in particular in the US here. So that's why it was chosen as a comparator. And then, so we had the efficacy, but also the safety was, was actually very encouraging. So um, in particular, you know, once they got through their increases or their titration, we call it, um, and they got on their dose, the amount of hypoglycemia was, was very low. So um, very encouraging that, that patients are able to take this uh, in a safe way, and, and, and we suspected that based on the way it works. Um, it is, uh, it, it, when you inject it, um, all of our previous, or Levomir and Traceba insulins bind to albumin a little bit in the body. This one binds very strongly to albumin and actually is, um, is not as quickly taken up in the, at the insulin receptor. So that means you've got this circulating um, sort of depot of, of Icodec, and that means that it doesn't overwhelm your body's ability to uh, to correct the glucose. So once they're on this stable dose, uh, it does what it should. It lowers the glucose, but um, it doesn't do it uh, in a fashion you know, too much where you'd have a low blood sugar, at least rarely. So that was encouraging. And and that'll be obviously the big part of, of phase three is, is, you know, once we go out to more, you know, thousands of patients and, and over longer periods of time, we can explore that more. But we were very encouraged that the overnight uh, glucose was very stable uh, and that we didn't see any, um, any change or any increases in, in hypoglycemia versus glargine. So very encouraging results.